Okay, welcome. We're going to talk about Jack Trip today. So uh, Jack Trip is a protocol that lets you do real-time music jamming over the internet if you're within 250 to 500 miles of the people you're talking to and you have a good internet connection. Um, so I finally decided to get a Raspberry Pi or two and try it out. So here's what that looks like. This guy is a Raspberry Pi. It's Model 4 with a Hi-Fi Berry uh, sound card on here. Um, and the reason for all this stuff, instead of just going over the computer, uh, is because this configuration was optimized to basically deliver the lowest latency possible, the lowest um, delay between you and the internet and coming back. So the idea is you put one of these where you are, and then you give another one to your buddy or something, and you basically can have two-way audio back and forth and the latency is supposed to be low enough that uh, you can effectively play music together over the internet. Uh, so basically, here's how this works. I got these two keyboards, they go through here, they go into this, and basically this guy has a network cable right there, and this is sending the audio out to the internet. From here in Baltimore, Maryland, it's going to Ashburn, Virginia, that's just the, the nearest public server for the um, jack trip. And so it goes out to the internet, and then when it's gonna come back right here on this other one. So this guy comes back in, goes here, hits these two wires, comes on the output down here into this amp. So anything that's coming out of this amp has gone from, from there to the internet, to here, back to the amp. So that's the audio. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have the ability to switch between the, the two keyboard, uh, sorry, the, the setup locally or sending it over the internet. So we'll start here by sending just, this is what it sounds like here without any of the internet shenanigans. Okay, so that's local, no internet. Now we're gonna turn off the local sound and we're gonna turn on just the internet. So everything you hear from this point forward is going from here out to the internet, back to the other side of the room to a speaker. And in, in reality, you would have this go to somebody's house, but here I'm just doing it as a test. So if I can play okay with it going out to the internet and back, then that means that it's possible to do real-time music jamming. So let's try it. It's got a little lag to it, but it's not bad. It's just, it's a little laggy, but it's totally great. And I only noticed that because I'm monitoring my own signal myself. Uh, if I was playing with somebody on the internet, I probably would not even notice it because uh, it's under the 20 millisecond window that uh, your human ear, you know, can tolerate for feeling like you're in the same room with somebody. So it's pretty well, right? <laughs> So now here's an interesting comparison, right? I'm gonna mix the sound of the, of the uh, one coming from the internet, so the lagged out version with the local one, so you can hear the difference between the two, and I'll switch between them. So here's the local, right? And here's the internet. And if I mix them together, you can, you'll be able to hear like the difference in lag time. Here we go. Here's just the internet. Here's both again. And like, let's pick a real poppy sound here just to make sure. Here's some drums. So this is this is local and remote together. Here's just remote.
let's try them. Let's try them both together. And I'll isolate just so everybody can hear it. So that's what it sounds like together. And here's what it sounds like. I'm looking forward to trying this out in uh, some jam sessions, and uh, let's talk to you guys soon. Bye. Um, this is the, I'm going to show you the web interface that came with these things. Computer, real quick, um, basically, this device right here, you know, she, basically, when you set it up, it shows up. Uh, I've got device number one, device number two, and I'm using um, Jack Trip Foundation's got a virtual studio server, they call it, so it's just a publicly available server. Uh, but you can also run your own for free um, if you sort of dial it in and stuff. But yeah, it was real easy. It was all through the web page. I didn't have to like SSH in or do anything fancy. So um, pretty, pretty awesome right here. So I definitely encourage you to give it a shot. You do have to use um, Ethernet, which is much faster than Wi-Fi latency-wise. Um, and uh, yeah, that should be everything right there.